Marvel themselves just revealed new toys for Thor Love and Thunder, which gives us our best look at Thor's new costume yet. But what's interesting is that this costume is different to the gold one we saw before in the leaked MCU mural at Marvel Studios. And this got me wondering if maybe this was a poster for Avengers 5, the new Avengers, which would explain why he has two different costumes. And if you look at the lineup, it would be a really good group of characters for the next Avengers movie. But anyways, the toys also give us a look at Jane Foster's Mighty Thor in her comic accurate costume, and we also see Korg's new look, which isn't too different to what we've seen before. He's just wearing a fur coat. But in the Lego, we actually got our first look at Christian Bale's Gord the God Butcher. And as you can see in the image where he's fighting Mighty Thor, we can see a black sword, which is hopefully all black the Necro Sword. Now in the MCU, we already saw a Necro Sword used by Hela in Thor Ragnarok, and later by Tanalir Tavan in What If, when he put on Hela's helmet. But those swords are actually an amalgamation of two different weapons from the comics. The Night Sword, Hela's Curse Sword that she was able to summon at any time, and the All Black, the first symbiote who manifested his form into a powerful sword with dark properties, created by Null, and previously wielded by Gore the God Butcher, both of whom used it to slay gods across the cosmos. So should the two be combined, it could create All Black the Necro Sword and give us a huge connection to Null, which was set up all the way back in Guardians of the Galaxy through nowhere, as that giant floating severed head is the head of a celestial Null cut off with All Black the Necro Sword. And lastly, Deadline has revealed two new actors for upcoming Marvel movies. First was Fred Hetchinger, who's joined Sony Pictures' Craven the Hunter, and although it's unconfirmed, sources say Hetchinger would play Chameleon, the brother of Craven, and the main villain in the movie. They also revealed that Aaron Pierre is set to co-star opposite Mahershala Ali in Marvel's Blade reboot. And while it's unknown who Pierre will be playing, the role itself was one of the most highly coveted parts in Hollywood since Tariq was tapped as director last fall. Execs on the project always had their eye on Lindo for a secret role, but insiders add Feige, Tariq, and others took their time finding the right person for this part, meeting dozens of up-and-coming actors for the role, with Pierre becoming the favorite in recent weeks. And with him set to co-star opposite Mahershala, he could be playing the main antagonist. So most likely Dracula, or more interestingly enough, he could be playing Deacon Frost, who in the comics bit Eric Brooks' mother, who later died as she was giving birth, turning Brooks into a dampier, or a half-human, half-vampire hybrid. But let me know what you guys think about all this. What do you think of Gore the God Butcher, and do you think we could get hints to know or maybe even see him appear in Thor 4. And what do you think of both these new actors and the characters they could be playing? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.